Hello everybody, it's me Sam here for Gaming, and today we're going to do another basic tutorial. Well, this is actually going to be a tutorial on all the changes to Juicy Bucket and, well, need some revisions for the um, the first tutorial. Because um, things have changed and basically I'm going to go over what has changed and what you need to do. It's not too much and uh, hopefully I should be able to do this quite quickly. So, I assume you've watched the first tutorial. If you haven't, I would recommend watching it. And uh, this is just a tutorial on all the changes, like I said. So, I'm going to create a new project. Now, I'm going to call it Torch Destroyer. Um, because our first one, of course, was when we place a sign. This one's going to be when we destroy a sign. So, I'm going to import all the jars. Nice, that's all done. Going to create a new package now. One of the changes is that you can't use the um, the bucket package, so you have to create your own domain and then use it. So I'm going to use me.samkeo.td. You can use me.yourname.td, for example. And then we're going to create a new class. And we've got td. And we want to make it extend. Java plugin. Okay. Now it's giving us an error because we need to import it. So just import that. Okay, so first of all we're gonna do public on enable. Public void on enable. This is the function of course when the uh, plugin starts and we want to um, we want to add the block break event. Now this has changed from before because it used to be um, on block damaged, and then you would check how damaged it was. But now there is this is the new one. It's uh, going to annoy which is on block break, which I'm going to type it in now. Block underscore break. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the block listener, which we haven't called yet. And I'm going to set the priority. Oh, damn it. The event. How do you spell event? Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Seriously. Wow, look at that, look at that. The joys of Eclipse. That is so fake. So, yeah, I'm going to delete that. Because it's not meant to be executed. There we are. And this. And then we just kind of shout to the thing that it started. We're going to use login for this time. I prefer it, so cd started. Right, and we need to, of course, state what the log is. So, I'm gonna call it private static file logger log equals logger. Oh, damn it, logger. It's all case sensitive, so watch your case sensitivity. And we're gonna get the Minecraft logger. And then we can use, um, log.info or log.severe depending on what we're doing and I think we need to import it yep and we need to import everything let's tidy up this code I need to right, let's start this block listener so I'm going to create the block listener so prep private final td block listener and of course this doesn't exist at the moment but we're going to create it soon td block listener that's going to be the name of the class there we are it doesn't exist so we're going to create it and oops is that right 
there we are, it's crazy now. And uh, we just need to make sure it extends block listener. And we need to add the the general stuff, so public static td plugin public td block listener td instance parentheses plugin equals instance I just um uh what's more of that oh capital P there should be a little P now one of the other things is source format and it just generally ties up. I probably showed you that before but it just helps a lot. So this is where we're going to create our um, function for on block length. This gets cool whenever um, a block is broken in the game. So block break event. Yep. And we're going to get the block which was broken. So block block equals event dot get block and we're gonna get a player that broke it so player I'm gonna call them player equals event dot get player which is good practice to get stuff there uh, well I think it is anyway so it's import everything I'll upload the source of course like always so we need to Check the block type to make sure it's a tool. So block dot get type equals now it's double equals because if we're using one equals it will set it to that which we don't want so we use double equals and we're also going to make sure that the well we haven't added this yet but the person has enabled the plugin for them which doesn't exist at the moment that's why it's giving us an error but Oh well. I'm going to send them a message. Now I'm going to use chat color dot, and then you can choose a color. I'm going to choose red. That's quite a cool thing, which I use a lot. And I'm going to say you broke a torch. So this will send the um, send the player that they've broken a torch, and that's all we need to do for this class. So. Continuing, adding the imports and whatnot. We're going to add the plugin on disable, and because there's nothing really to disable, we're just going to log that it's been disabled. public void on the table because it doesn't return anything and that's what void means right so now we need to add the on commands so public booling on command command sender now the command sender is who sent the command this could be a player or it could be um, it could be a console command label is uh, what they typed in and the string string array is any arguments after that so we need to import all of these And if the command label equals ignore case and we're going to use td, then do this. And what we want to do is toggle the player's activeness um, in the plugin because we're going to have a hash map like we had before. So let's create that now public plan hash map player we're just going to use a block list 
because just for the sake of it. Not quite cool it Teddy uses. And it's a new hash map. And Type it incorrectly. So let's import the hash map, import the player, and uh, interesting. Let's import block. We have to do that manually. So import or dot bucket dot block. Very interesting. <sighs> Capital letter, of course. I really want to import the array list. So now we have a hash map with the store. Uses onto the hash map like we had before. So to continue with our thing, we're going to return true to state that it has happened because we need to return something. And if it hasn't happened, we can return false, but that won't happen. So, basically if bucket gets returned false, it will just show them the default usage. If not, it won't show it. So, if they fail to type it in, just return false. If they have typed it in, then return true. So, we're going to create a toggle td. Thing. Play out play. And if they're enabled, which doesn't exist yet, if the player is in the um in the hash map, then take them out. User dot remove player. And then we'll send them a message. Stating that it is disabled for them. Else, we are going to enable them. So, we're going to put them in the hash map. And because we're just using a array list of block, we just put null because there's nothing there. So, plan up send message we are state to them that they've been enabled and there we are now lastly we just need to finish off by doing the boolean of enabled which is just gonna check to see if they're in the table so we're just gonna return to see if they're in the table, so we return users.contains key player. Right, and uh, that's that's it for our coding line. Now to um, using it as well. So we're going to just only export it to the desktop and call it uh, torch destroy. Save as a jar. And now there's some changes with the uh, plugging wire mount. So I've got a little um, what I did earlier there. Where is it gone? I think it's blocked the drawing. When did I save it there? Of course it's drawing. There it is. See? Can never find anything on my desktop. Right, so we're just going to rename this and then we're going to right click new. Uh, text document, and then type in plugin dot YML. Yes, we do want to change it. And I'm going to open WordPad because I just prefer WordPad a lot more now compared to um, Notepad. So, name. This is the name 
of it. So of course, t torch to join. Main me dot td dot td. This is just the main package directory and what class those first. Version number. It's going to be one. And then this is a new bit. So commands. And then we want to have. Now I'll probably get the spaces wrong. So that's all space sensitive. I'm just going to copy this base, this over, and explain it. Hills. Now, this is where you add command. This is the command. And this is the description, so when you do help or whatever, this is what it will show. And if you fail to type in the command where it returns false, this is what the user will see uh, in red. So, yeah. So, you want to save that. And then we've got to drag this in the torso tray. So I'm going to open up our Minecraft server. Like one we made earlier. See my uh, tutorial on how to make a, a Minecraft server, if you don't already know. And we're going to start it up. And as you can see, torso tray started. All good, all good. So we're going to go on this. And we are going to type. I'm going to first place the torch. If we can. Not in the spawn zone. And I'm going to type in TD. So now TD is enabled. And now whenever I place a torch, I'll destroy a torch. It tells me I've broken a torch. Now TD off. It doesn't show me anymore. Now if I was to type something wrong, it would show me uh, TD in red the uh, syntax that bucket comes with all right then thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe um hope you found this helpful especially with the changes i'll probably be making another one due to the massive amount of changes but thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe this is sam gifford with gaming signing out